Uh, briefly, what I want to add is, uh, I've had the recommendations from the DVC, I uh, would we'll definitely take that into consideration next time. Uh, then secondly also, uh, according to the actual schedule, you are supposed to do your exams today. Friday is supposed to be a day for mock exams and then the main certification exams. But because we know this is a fresh program, uh, we cannot ask you to sit for the exams today. It's not going to be possible for you to teach somebody on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday without having time to go home and rest and then revise and then on Friday you ask that particular person to come and sit for the certification exams and you expect them to pass. Uh, I think that is, uh, this is one of our major complaints with headphones. We have complained to them that uh, the, the, the entire uh, schedule is too tight, so they need to work on adjusting that particular schedule. So if, because of that, uh, based on our discussions with headphones, they said, okay, fine. Wherever you go and conduct this kind of training, uh, you are at liberty to give them one, two, or three weeks for them to prepare before coming back for the actual exams. And that is what is going to happen here. In the next two weeks, we will be communicating with the management of the university so that uh, we will decide on a particular day. We will come back here, spend two days, and then during that particular two days, uh, all of you are expected to come and sit for your exams. So please, what we are asking you to do is, as we go back to your offices and homes, Continue to revise on what you have been taught. You have the PDF documents, you can put them on your phones. Wherever you are sitting under a tree, having some few minutes, just browse through them and read. Uh, in the next by next, we will be sending you your login details so that you can log on to what you were showing today. Your uh, skills box account so that you can log in, you can do your diagnostic, you can practice on your own. So, uh, and one thing I can assure you is that if you log into your account, you practice and you score 75%, it means if you sit for that exam as, a, as at that moment, you are going to pass. If you can score more than 75% on your personal test, on your diagnostic, it means you are going to pass the exams. But believe me, if you don't score up to that amount, you, are, you will not pass. We have tested that also in several places that you have seen. Don't forget, you will be timed. There is a time in there. So sometimes the questions might look simpler to you, but then within 35 minutes, can you be able to do that? So please, I encourage you to practice a lot. And sure, many of us will take up the challenge. You will be on your table, we don't expect you to have to use hard copy paper to work on. Prepare whatever is required of you. B, send the soft copy through maybe a working intranet, which I believe in no distant future will be ready for us, to whoever is to act. He or she will also perform his own part of the coin and forward it. Before you know what happens, believe you me, even if you are at home, you will be working per se of what should be worked on in your office. And that's how far the world has gone into. <coughs> that is what is happening today. You could be here, you could be working in the US, in the UK, or in any part of the world. We are beginning to do eye with the walls of the office. And so does it apply to the classroom teaching. You've seen how much we have failed as a country. When during the COVID-19, the federal government directed, okay, let the institutions now train the students through e-learning. How can I give somebody what I do not have? I hope you get what I'm saying. Uh -huh. So both the teachers as well as the students and the non-teaching must all be e compliant and that's the norm globally, that's the global practice today. Whether there is a break, whether there, the session is on, we should continue to ensure that the usual businesses are ongoing. And that's the extent of this training that we've just gone through. So put it at the back of your mind, ensure that you put it to use, and let's begin to see the new phase of Fuga. Now, my only single disappointment before we close is what I'm told now by the CEO. I told you, I thought I'd finish with exams, and when I'm told that I'll be coming to sit for exams, I said today will be today. <laughs> yes. So I think I had TDB. <laughs> How many of us know what is TDB? <laughs> uh -huh. So I, 
I'm happy. DBC Academy <laughs> cannot forget such terms. I had my today break, making sure that when I come today, whether the CEO likes it or not, he must give me that 75 percent. <laughs> but now that I'm here, I'm so disappointed he's telling me it's going to take some two or three more weeks. Then I think I would go and prepare for my 99 percent. <laughs> So uh, when it does on a lighter mood, please, all we are saying is we are being informed that we'll be given more time. Those of us who are challenged for one reason or the other because of time or workshop or whatever, those of us who might have had some few hiccups here and there, now we have the opportunity. Go and revise. Go and relate with those that you believe might have understood it better. So that in the next one, two or three weeks when we come to sit for that exam, let it be 100% with all putting the certificates and a driver. Is that okay? Yes. So uh, on that note, I want to use this opportunity added to what has been said to thank each and every one of us. We've really sacrificed our time. The devotion is here to the extent that even the initial number here marked for the program has well been exceeded through enthusiasm by so many staff that are keenly trying to key in. It's really appreciating. So we appreciate that and please, like we said, we are appealing, go and put it to use, okay? On behalf of our Vice Chancellor, Professor Memona Waziri, who unavoidably is still in Abuja trying to see that we are better off than we have been, this morning we talked with her and I brief her on the level of progress so far on what's going on. She's very happy and is extending her regards. And uh, on her behalf, I would want to declare that the workshop as it stands is now closed. Thank you very much.